Okay, good morning, welcome to Super Math number 20. Super Math number 20. Um, we were ticking along in two chapters today. One, uh, the first one showed uh, that what side side angle is not a good congruence theorem. And the second one we were doing was uh, about isosceles triangles, and we're only about halfway through that one. So this is actually an example problem out of it, and we haven't looked at this problem yet. We just wrote up the problem. We're going to try to work our way through it. In the diagram, AC equals CD equals DB. And angle B is 23 degrees. The question is, find angle A. Okay? Well, if I knew what this side was, if like this side was the same as this side, then yeah. I'd know the answer. Okay. What would that answer be? I think it, well, actually, it wouldn't quite be 23 yet. But I knew this, I knew this would be the midpoint. Oh, I see. Okay, and then we could figure something out from there. Yeah. Okay. We only know one little angle. Yeah, we know these, these three sides are congruent, or those, not sides, those three um, line segments, I guess, are congruent or the same length. Well, we have an isosceles triangle. Actually, we have two. We've got this one and this one. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So that means that these angles are the same. Okay. Why is that? Well, it's the same side. This, these sides are the same. Okay. So you can split. Okay, you don't have to prove it. Yeah. This, this was an, this was, this was a proof. example one, and we went through the proof. If two sides are the same, then the two corresponding angles are the same. That was example one. Example two was... If, the, if two corresponding angles are the same, the sides are the same. Okay, there you go. So we learned that isosceles triangles have the same angles. Okay? So that means this is 23. Right, that means that's 23. Good. So we can figure out this angle. Because this is a straight line. Alright. So 23 plus 23 is 46. So this is going to be 134. Alright. So, and this is 46. We could have seen that faster from the exterior angles. Good. Yeah. And we said these angles were the same, so it's 46. Alright, hey. Nice job. Okay, so we use our what we learned in the previous examples about isosceles triangles to work through. You're right that we didn't have to compute this if we didn't want to because this was an exterior angle. So it adds up to those two. So it's 46. 46. And it makes this angle, well, what do we got? We got 46 plus 46 is 92, making that angle. It's 88. 88. Good job. All right. Good job this morning, sweetie. That was a lot of work, but we got through it.